Today we are going to take a look at how to virtualize a REST API in Axway API Manager. The API Catalog is a central repository for your published APIs. You can access it here on the API Catalog menu tab. In order to publish an API, you need to register it first. Click on the API icon on the menu. You can register an API in two simple steps. First, you register your backend API. Then, you virtualize this backend API to a frontend API. The frontend API is the API you publish and expose to consuming applications. The backend API is the API that provides the service. The role of the API manager is to virtualize the backend API as a frontend API while enforcing security rules and quotas. Let's see how to register a backend API. In the API Backend API menu, click on the New API button. You can register two types of API, REST API and SOAP API. This video focuses on registering a REST API. For registering a SOAP API, please watch our Virtualize a SOAP API video. For REST API, you can either import a Swagger, RAML, or Waddle definition file, or you can create the API manually. Now, let's have a look at how to import a REST API with a Swagger definition file. After clicking the New API button, click on Import Swagger API. For this example, take the Swagger Star Wars JSON file that was built with a Swagger editor in 2.0 format. This file is available for download on the documentation portal at docs.axway.com. You should have received the address when you registered for the trial. In the API name input field, enter Star Wars, then click Import. The new backend API now appears in the list of your backend APIs. To view details of the newly created backend REST API, just click on its name. This will give you information such as base path URL, resource path, version number, description, and so on. You can also view all the methods you see here along with their parameters and descriptions. Now it's time to create the front-end API. Go to the API front-end API menu and click on the new API button. Select New API from Backend API. Select the Star Wars Backend API and click OK. This redirects you to the detail page of the newly created Frontend API. The default tab is the Inbound tab. Have a look at the resource path and modify it if needed. Now we need to define how to secure the API call by defining an authentication mechanism. We can select an authentication option from the inbound security drop-down list. To keep it simple, let's pick the pass-through list item. In the pop-up window, click OK. If you want to learn more about the inbound security mechanisms, take a look at the Secure Your APIs video. Now, let's add the Star Wars logo in the API tab. Click Save on the upper left corner of the screen. And the front end Star Wars API is now saved to the catalog. Let's test our new front end Star Wars API and check that everything works. In the API catalog, click on the newly created API and scroll down to API methods. Try the Get People method to get the list of people in the movie by clicking the Try It button. Then click the Try Method button. 
the result appears below with a status code of 200. Here's Luke Skywalker. If you like, you can add a page parameter. And again, view the results below. Here's Anakin Skywalker. That's it. You're done with virtualizing your first API with Axway API Manager. Every request to your backend API will now go through the front end API exposed by the API Gateway. Thanks for watching.